it's snowing. I'm so excited. Can you see it? It kind of looks just like rain. It's kind of a mix. December 4th. It is Tuesday. Nope. It is Tuesday, December 5th, not December 4th. I just typed in 12-4 because <laughs> I'm editing yesterday's vlogmas, so I think that's why I said December 4th. Um, it is, it's already after 11, so it is almost, almost lunchtime. Again, the morning has kind of gotten away from me a little bit, but I've gotten a good bit done. Um, I have been working on this sock while I was editing and watching back the Vlogmas episode and oh my goodness, I am loving this. And look how fun this yarn worked up during the gusset. I just finished the gusset decreases actually and I know some people would be really bothered <laughs> by how it changed, but I love it. Everybody's different, but to me, I love just working the yarn up and seeing what it is going to do. And when it changes like that, it just makes it even more exciting, I think. So today is Tuesday, which means date night. We always do date night on Tuesday. So that will be coming up this evening. I think we are going to Sea Jack's, which is one of our favorite local restaurants. So I think we are going there. Um, 
today I'm just doing laundry today pretty much other than like I, I did all the normal normal work stuff edited vlogmas all of that and I just have laundry to do which there's always a lot of laundry <laughs> I have a ginormous load of towels a basket of towels upstairs that I need to go fold once I get this going on YouTube and then I'm washing bedding some clothes and that's about it today so I'm hoping I'm gonna go fold those towels and then go get my squares added into my blanket and then work on I'll probably not work on these I'll probably pick up my striped socks and work on those for just a bit um you will have seen this morning it did snow just for a small little amount of time <laughs> it this morning I actually got to take Wyatt to school anymore since Austin drives um and they're at the same school Austin takes him but this morning I got to take him and it was it was nice it was nice to take him for one other than the traffic I hate school traffic but it was nice to chat in the car with them for a few minutes and then I got to see the snow. It snowed the whole way there, which is not very far, the whole way back. Um, and then by the time I was like, I'm gonna go take a shower really quick and then maybe the sun will be up enough that I can see it and I can like sit and knit for a bit this morning. It had quit snowing by the time I, I got out of the shower. So <laughs> it did not last long enough. I wish it would snow all day long. We will see if we get any of that this year. I feel like last year was a pretty mild year for snow, so we will see what this year holds. But yes, I am going to wrap wrap up the work and head upstairs, get some laundry done. Okay, go for it. I would check in again it is 3 p.m. I am working on my third square my final square for the day where's the one I just did I think I showed you the first one I think I took a video of that that was the polka dot creek and then I added in homespun house and now I'm adding in legacy fiber arts And since it's three, I will have enough time to get this done before we go out to dinner for date night tonight. So that is super exciting. And then I can just work on socks for the rest of the evening. Yesterday's Vlogmas is taking forever to upload. Let's see where we're at right now. It's at 90%. This has been uploading since, I tried it once and it took an hour and it was only at 25%, which is crazy slow. So I was like, okay, let's just try it again. I started it again, I think at like 1245. It's three o'clock and we're finally at 90%. That's definitely slow for, for Vlogmas. It's almost done. Hopefully it'll be done before we leave to go to dinner as well. I've just been sitting here, I caught up on By the Lakeside Vlogmas, and now I am watching Knit All the Yarn podcast. Um, I caught up on some Knitting Expat Vlogmas episodes as well. 
I, I think I might have mentioned yesterday or the day before that I'm really behind <laughs> on vlogmas watching. I just haven't had a lot of downtime to just sit and like during the day by myself to sit and watch it. But I've definitely enjoyed this little bit of time to sit and watch. The heat just kicked on. It's right through that doorway there and the dryer actually kicked off right before I started recording. So I need to head, get that load of blankets out of the dryer. You guys hear that? I feel like my heater sounds like the Home Alone heater in the basement. Excuse the catch-all room. I told y'all this is the catch-all room in the house, um, our family room in the basement, but I've had so many people ask about the stand that my Swift and Ball Winder are on and ask me to talk about it. I have had a link for it under every single Vlogmas video, so you can find a link for it under the video. It is from Ikea and it works great. I do need to, I need to put something down here, some books or something to kind of weight it down. It's a little top heavy, but I usually just put my foot on it while I'm standing there. So I move it back and forth. So I don't really want to have books and stuff I have to move. So I just put my foot on it while I'm winding just like that. And it holds it down great. But anyways, it is actually I think this is meant to be table legs. I could be wrong. I have no idea. I did not come up with this idea to use this. I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> I can't even remember who. It was years ago. But it works great. So I have it set. You can adjust the height on it here. Since that's pretty long on my Swift, I have it set up pretty high. And you can see I've got my Swift attached over on this side and the ball winder attached over here. I will say, and I do have this, I have this with a link below. Um, this does not extend far enough for some larger skeins. Some full skeins of yarn, by larger I mean full skeins because right now all I'm winding are minis. <laughs> but for um, full skeins of yarn, some of them, this will not extend far enough. I'll show you in just a moment what I mean, but it will not extend far enough. But it has worked great for mini skeins, which is the bulk of the yarn winding I'm doing at the moment and why I bought this, because typically I will just take my Swift and Winder up to my dining room table, and I don't wanna have to do that and move it every day because that's the table we use to eat our, all of our meals at. So I wanted something down here because last year I had it on a coffee table down here and that worked great, but we no longer have that furniture here because guitars and video games have taken over. So <laughs> this has worked great for mini skeins. It works great for, I feel like most full skeins I've used, but there are some that just, they, they stretch out so far in their circle. I don't know if they're technical names for all of this. Um, that this just will not extend far enough. Let me extend it and I'll show you what happens. I don't know that I can do this. Oh yeah, I can do it full handed. So, let's see here. If you have a skein that is pretty large and this needs to go out further, what's gonna happen is that's gonna hit and you're not gonna be able to do it. So. It does not work great for some full skeins. That being said, my husband said he can just attach another piece of wood, a longer piece of wood to the top of this so that these will set out further. So he says there's a fix. I keep, I keep reminding him and he has not done it yet. <laughs> right now I'm just winding mini, so it's not a huge deal, but yeah, just if you do buy it, bear that in mind that you may need to extend this top piece um, so that that can extend to ex its full extent needed for some full skeins of yarn. But also I have a lot of questions about the winder and swift that I use. These are Stanwood. I got this back when we lived in North Carolina as a gift from my mother-in-law. Both of, or no, I think I had a uh, Amish style Swift is what I originally had. And then I did get this umbrella Swift. So, but that I've had since North Carolina. Yeah. 